this tutorial shows students how to save and zoom a PDF. When I'm doing rough drafts, I have to send you a PDF through your DMAC email. And when I do that, sometimes they download and you're not able to see them very decently. So I've got a few tips and tricks to help you uh, be able to save and zoom and be able to view the comments a little bit better. Pretend you're in your DMAC email and you have received Rough Draft 2 comments from me. When you open that up, you see something similar to this. And so if you immediately go up and click on File, Save As, and then scroll on down to where you're going to save it on your computer, whether that's your flash drive, whether that is actually on your computer physically, and then hit the Save button, then you will have saved that file. The other point is how do I actually view the comments here? Because you can see the balloons and you can see them leading to an area of the paper, um, but I can't read that very well. <laughs> and when I download comments from Blackboard or whether it is from uh, DMAC email, it often downloads them in a 75% zoom. So what you might try is just using the drop down and selecting 100 or maybe even selecting something that's a little bit larger so that you can see it more clearly. I've just scrolled down and I'm going to scroll over to the right to look at the comments a little more closely. Another way to zoom besides using this list is to be able to use the plus and minus signs that are right next to it. That's still a zoom uh, tool. So if you click on the minus sign, that makes it smaller and then you can either scroll over or um, zoom it in if you went too far. The last piece of advice that I have is that some of you enjoy checking things off the list and making sure that you've taken care of elements. You know, if you printed off the assignments that I send you and then you highlight or you check through anything that you've changed as you go through, you could look at the comments up close here and then check them off of the paper that you've actually printed off. That may help you keep track of what you've been doing.